Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. My name is Daniel, and in today's video, uh, this is part two uh, of maybe a total of three videos, I haven't decided yet, uh, of basically just kind of talking through, uh, you know, why I'm uh, buying a second dump trailer, uh, what what's kind of my mentality, why, why, have it, why has it come to this point, and what my outlook is. Uh, kind of on this whole situation and so uh, if you have not already seen the first video uh, go ahead and check that video out first uh, if you'd like to uh, if not just continue watching this one uh, and then uh, bounce back and, and catch up uh, if you if you'd like but in today's video uh, I want to be talking with you about uh, the entrepreneur uh, mindset um, whether you have it whether people around you have it uh, and kind of dealing with people who maybe don't understand what you're trying to do uh, you know in life um, we're not all on the same page uh, as you may have guessed <laughs> you see obviously uh, people are going in different directions people have different skills than each other uh, different weaknesses there's so many attributes that, that vary from person to person and uh, the truth is we're not all the same I believe we were created by God uh, on purpose uh, for a reason and uh, that he uh, created us to be unique and uh, he formed us in his image and uh, uh, we have an incredible uh, life on this earth uh, that's worth living and uh, for each and every one of us it's just different uh, we have different uh, hobbies different ideas different passions and uh, there's nothing wrong with that uh, absolutely nothing but uh, with these differences come different mindsets and you know in in my life um, I've had people who who didn't understand my mindset or I didn't understand theirs and I just it's a little it's a bridge too far I don't understand or they didn't understand me and uh, and there's there's really no point in trying to uh, may, maybe try to try to share with them hey this is what what's going on Here's what I'm seeing. Here's what I'm doing. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's it's quite possible that they're still not going to get it. Um, you know, why would you start a dumpster rental business? Why is this even a, a thing to you? Why are you basically, essentially, as an entrepreneur, starting a business? You are self-employed, uh, and that that's just that's a huge risk in itself. Uh, with being an entrepreneur, with starting a business like this. Uh, comes a, a huge amount of risk and uh, there's there's people who take a risk uh, in you know going on a date with somebody for the first time uh, people take a risk uh, you know at some restaurants of what they eat uh, what they're going to you know put inside their stomach uh, and then there's some other people uh, who decide to take a risk by either buying assets buying some type of product uh, making their own product, building something th themselves, and then trying to sell that, trying to uh, offer a service, uh, all, all sorts of things. And uh, for those of us who, who kind of fall into that category, uh, who, uh, you know, for us being in a, in a service industry, uh, offering a, a service like a dumpster rental uh, service, uh, it's, it's no different. There, there is a huge amount of risk uh, that comes into the factors. I mean, it, it's just, it, it is what it is. For us, each and every trailer, whether you've got roll-off bins, you've got utility trailers, you've got actual dump trailers, uh, your truck, uh, whatever you're putting into the business, uh, it's it's a physical asset that you have to maintain uh, that is liable to cause issues. Uh, if all of your assets are sitting, going nowhere, uh, would, that basically means your business is going nowhere, you're not making any money, uh, and that's a big problem. So for me, I have noticed in my previous self-employment job, as well as now in this job, uh, being self-employed, starting my own thing, and uh, literally from ground zero, uh, trying to build this thing up, uh, I have noticed there are people around me who, who simply don't understand. They don't understand why I would do such a thing. They think, uh, I'm, I'm essentially putting myself on the chopping block. Uh, it's a dangerous situation. Uh, it's really not a smart idea. In fact, it's kind of dumb. 
Uh, they don't see themselves putting themselves in that type of situation, uh, leaving themselves to that type of exposure uh, to risk. And so it's a little bit of a bridge too far type of a situation for them to really comprehend, uh, for them to even imagine. Uh, and the truth is, you know, it might be different because they can't see themselves doing that type of business situation, uh, really kind of putting yourself uh, in the line of fire. Uh, what if everything you know, shrinks up and, and there's no more business? What, what do we do then? Uh, what's the answer? Because it's, it's all on our shoulders. When we are doing this business, uh, there are going to be people in our lives who love us, who care about us, but at the end of the day, they still don't quite understand what's, what's going on. Why would you do such a thing? Um, for me, in this particular situation, uh, whether it's friends, family, uh, neighbors, uh, nosy neighbors, <laughs> uh, who, who would say, what in the world are you doing here? You, you're buying a second trailer and it's been a, a fairly short amount of time or you know you don't have all these things all these other ducks in a row and uh and it's just a dangerous financial position what what are you doing and there's a really good reason why someone might say that why someone might not be so you know yippee for you and that's probably because they're concerned for you uh your friends your family uh, maybe even your, your nosy neighbors, they might be a little weirded out by it. They might think, uh, this doesn't seem like a rational idea. And for the fact that they're not in your head, they don't know what you're doing behind the scenes, they don't know the numbers, they, they're really making a uneducated response, a guess, a uh, whatever you want to call it, most likely these people in your life, these people in my life, they're not out to get you. Uh, these people who might say, yeah, I don't think so. Or it, it, it's possible you might even have people in your life that downright just tell you that's a stupid idea and you're stupid if you go ahead and do that. That's a really dumb idea. Um, and, and there's really just nothing else to say about it. Uh, they. They think it's dumb, so therefore it is dumb. They're not going to see what you see. They're not going to see all the behind the scene work you've done uh, and, and the overall business, what you're trying to build literally in the trenches. And that's okay because they're not in the business with you. If they were a business partner and they were saying that, if they were somebody else who was in the industry who was saying that, if you know, just people who were actually qualified and, and they hear something like that, it would be the same thing in my other industry, what I'm doing currently right now, uh, delivering a camper to a dealership down in Texas uh, so that I can go grab my trailer uh, from the dealership. It would be as if I said, hey, uh, I'm planning on buying another truck. And they say, okay, well, what are you gonna use it for? You know, them being another driver, knowing, you know, what this industry is all about. Well, uh, you know, I'm not gonna, you know have another driver you know be put in that and then you know me pay that driver and make money on top of that I'm just gonna use that truck just when I'm at home and the other driver probably would say to me uh, well, what so you're gonna buy a truck fully ready to go for over the road hauling campers hauling commercial vehicles but you're gonna leave it at home and you're not going to use that out on the road. You're not going to swap them out. You're only going to use that at home. That makes no sense. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to be able to say something like that. But they know the industry. They, that just simply does not make sense. They know what it, what it requires, what they could do, uh, you know, what you could do with a second truck to be able to do in this industry. And so it'd be one thing if they knew what was going on, if they were tied in, if, if they had a secure, relevant understanding of the industry, of your business specifically, and knowing how things are put together, but someone who doesn't know, who maybe isn't an entrepreneur, for them to say, mm, that's stupid. 
I would encourage you in the most respectful way, uh, whether it's family, friends, neighbor, whoever, does not matter. Um, take that out of grain of salt. You know, that's, uh, that's really not really helping yourself by taking those things to heart. Um, if they were an entrepreneur and even some other type of business, you know, okay, maybe that, that holds a little bit more weight. But someone who, who maybe doesn't understand, who isn't a risk taker, all they see is the potential for the downside. They don't understand that you do have to be a little risky to be able to actually get that bigger reward. Uh, it's not exactly gambling, it's a calculated risk. You're going into a situation fully planning ahead, preparing, building stuff up, and then launching. And that turning into something where it's actually profitable. And there's no guarantees in life, we've already talked about that. Uh, that's, it, it is what it is. But the truth is, is that I can't have a dumpster rental business without a trailer. And if I only have one trailer running out to one person and it's only the same person at the same time, every time, how am I gonna get new clients? How am I going to build? How is this going to get bigger? Uh, how am I going to meet somebody who calls up and says, hey, I need a trailer tomorrow. Can you help me? And a one trailer's already rented out and I say, well, actually I can help you. I've got another one. Maybe it's the bigger one, maybe it's a smaller one. I don't know. But that's how I believe we're going to build this business, uh, which is by taking a calculated risk one at a time. Not getting ahead of ourselves, not going above and beyond, going nuts, but rather planning ahead, preparing, getting things in order, and then taking that leap. And again, in all this, this whole situation, it's, it's no one's fault. They have different strengths in other areas where maybe they are a risk taker and you are not. And that's okay. But as I'm finding out in life, I have people in my life, not just one person, I have people in my life who don't quite understand what I'm doing. They don't get, they, they, they only see the negative. They only see the potential for downfall. Uh, they, they don't see the bigger picture. They don't, they're not in the trenches with me actually doing the business and seeing the bigger picture of the whole thing. I don't know how else to say it. They, they just can't see it. And the truth is, you're not going to be able to beat it into their head. They probably, even if they wanted to, they still might not might not get it. But the chances are they probably don't really care. Because if they did care, they would probably ask, well, how are you able to see that? How do you think this is profitable? Uh, maybe they would say it in a nicer way or not. I don't know. But in some way, shape, or form, uh, it's, it's just a bridge too far. Uh, in some of these things and they're only going to see the downsides until it appears as if you've kind of come back up to like sea level you, you've come back up to like to where you were before you started the venture type of a situation uh, if that makes sense and so uh, there's nothing wrong with that um, but I would just encourage you if you if you're an entrepreneur if you're wanting to do this job uh, any type of business, any type of self-employed, uh, everything's resting on your shoulders. If you have a vision for something, if you have peace about uh, the business idea that you have, uh, that you're, you're ready to pull the trigger, uh, and you hear voices. Voices may be for, voices may be against. I would just encourage you to think about, are the, are the voices who are maybe against, are they coming from a logical standpoint? Are they asking the, the inner questions of the business and putting everything together, trying to see, yeah, I could see that logically working. Or maybe it's somebody who, who's never taken a business risk in their life. Uh, and, and if that's the case, I would just say, understand who you're, who you're hearing, who you're listening to. Um, not saying to, to ignore them, to throw them overboard, uh, to to argue with them, to do anything at all like that. But if you're starting this business, you need as much momentum as possible. And with momentum, you need encouragement. I can tell you, uh, for me, words are, are pretty big. Uh, encouraging words for me 
uh, can make me you know skyrocket to the moon and back uh, they can also crush me you know the uh, what's the old phrase sticks and stones will break my bones but words will never hurt me uh, that is the biggest lie you will ever hear words absolutely they wound people they cut people the Bible says life and death come from the tongue your tongue can cut it's like a double-edged sword you can cut somebody down guess what you can't take those words back you can't just make it all better again there's a cut it may heal but there's still gonna be a scar and so for me uh, just thinking about this whether you're an entrepreneur whether you have other entrepreneur friends uh, family whoever whoever you're listening to just be cautious uh, who whose advice and whose uh, words uh, to your best of your ability are, are you listening to and, and what's really going on if they're not someone who, who understands that you do have to build your foundation wide to be able to go up uh, to be able to build your actual walls going north going you know forward uh, in business uh, they're, they're probably not gonna understand why you're gonna buy a second dump trailer uh, they're probably not gonna understand why you would buy uh, some type of course at learning how to uh, market better how to advertise better why you would invest more in in some of these ideas uh, it's it's probably not gonna make a lot of sense in a lot of these different things and so if the people around you are, are being negative because they only see the negative things because they're truthfully not someone who's an entrepreneur not someone who uh, is willing to take a, a calculated risk uh, in some of these things there's someone who's going to, going to kind of sit back and wait and watch and just see how things play out uh, because that's just kind of how they operate there's nothing wrong with that uh, but for you uh, don't try to don't try to convince them don't try to beat them in the head uh, don't uh, attack them or, or do anything like that there, there's no point uh, it's not a war they're still your family they're still your friend they're your neighbor whoever it is uh, it's okay uh, if they have questions be willing to answer them uh, try to gain perspective from them as well uh, if there's anything that they see that maybe you maybe they're still not an entrepreneur but they still can see some things uh, maybe some inconsistencies or uh, or who, who knows what you name it uh, there could be something but uh, be very cautious this is something that I'm I'm currently literally going through uh, and I, I have no enemies in this uh, this is not me against my family my friends my neighbors whoever uh, it, it's not like that it's a matter of me understanding the situation who I'm talking to what's their background uh, are, are they really qualified to to make some of these these calls some of these thoughts uh, is what they're saying actually hold water uh, maybe it does maybe it doesn't so with all the words that you are hearing uh, out in the world you're hearing from your family friends neighbors whoever it is man try to listen more towards the positive people the people who are gonna push you encourage you uh, back you up not giving you false hope not trying to to sell you down the river uh, trying to you know lead you on and, and really push you towards something that, that really will blow up in your face, giving you a false hope uh, of something to come. Uh, but listen to the people who are genuinely, who know what they're talking about, who have been in these situations before, uh, and they, they know what it takes to build a business. And then from there, uh, take what they have to say uh, for all the encouragement it can be. And so I'm currently going through this, as I've said, uh, in my life with uh, with more than one person in my life right now and uh, it, it's a little confusing it's a little frustrating it's a little you know a lot of things but at the end of the day I'm only kind of slowing myself down uh, with getting caught up in all these different thoughts and ideas and you know well I, I guess they just don't understand I need to convince them no 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 I don't have to convince them uh, it's not my job to do that they don't have to see it through my eyes uh, that's okay and uh, we can let things go we can move forward not be distracted and keep pressing on because that's the thing that's ultimately going to bring us the success uh, where we can say hey here we are we actually made it hey we're taking steps hey we're you know fill in the blank uh, so anyways this is just thoughts from somebody uh, who is still just starting out I I'm green 
I'm a rookie uh, in, in this whole uh, industry. And uh, so I'm just along for the ride as well, trying to learn uh, how to build this business, but, but do it productively, not to where I'm, I'm hurting myself uh, mentally, emotionally, and all these things. Uh, but I'm able to communicate with people around me uh, as I'm trying to build this business. So uh, anyways, hopefully this helped you. Uh, if it did, just let me know down in the comments below uh, if it was something that uh, maybe helped you kind of think through. Maybe, well, yeah, maybe I have somebody in my life who, who's kind of negative in these areas. Well, maybe you don't have to talk to them about everything that's going on. Uh, maybe share with them just one thing every once in a while. Uh, maybe offer to explain it to them. Maybe ask them questions. But at the end of the day, keep charging forward. Uh, that's what I'm going to keep doing and uh, just try to learn and grow through this uh, myself. So uh, with all that being said, hopefully you have a great day today. Stay safe, guys, and God bless.